Hi guys, it's Deja. Um, I am coming to you today with my first boob vlog. So before I get started, um, I do want to just come out and obviously say as you see the title of the video that I am getting my boobs done. And before I like really really go into anything, I do want to state that I'm not getting my boobs done for anybody else. This is something that I decided to do. I've been thinking about it for years and years, maybe like two and a half, almost three years. Um, I've gained a lot of weight and then I've lost a lot of weight. Then I've gained it again and now I've lost it and I plan to keep it off. I'm happy with the weight I'm the weight that I'm currently at. I do plan to lose more weight, but right now I'm okay with getting my surgery. So just for any that doesn't agree with my surgery it's something that I'm doing for myself I'm not doing it for anybody else and to be completely honest I don't care about anybody else's opinion on me getting my surgery so whether you support me or you don't support me I'm gonna get my boobs done anyways I do appreciate if you obviously support me because you know the more support the better because I've had a lot of people that are excited for me and who are like I can't wait for you to get your surgery and then I've had people who I don't ever even talk to who never text me or ask me how I'm doing or never just genuinely just care about what I'm doing in my life but have an opinion on me getting my boobs done. So, you know, people will have opinions no matter what you do, but just to let you guys know, I don't care about your opinions. Um, I'm doing it for myself and it's gonna get done. So to start off with, my surgery is on March 17th. I have my pre-op March 16th. Um, I'm not getting it done in my hometown. I'm going to Utah to get it done, which is the doctor that my mom used. I'm not going to state my doctor yet just in case he, like, kills me or I'm not happy with the results. I don't want to go recommending something that I'm not okay with. So, um, after my surgery, I'll do another vlog. I'll continue to do them up until about a year. I won't do them every single day, but, you know, I'll do my vlogs. Um, so, after my surgery, if I'm happy with my results, I'm going to go ahead and disclose my doctor and things along those lines so like I said surgery is March 17th my birthday is the 18th so it's literally um, a birthday present for me I've worked my ass off to pay for this to schedule this to get to the weight that I'm comfortable with with getting the surgery so I don't want to spend all this money on something and then I'm not at the weight I want to be and then you know the results are altered because I'm not at that weight um, everybody's been asking me what size I am going to get I'm just not sure because I haven't seen my doctor because like I said he's not in my hometown he's in Utah so I haven't seen him and I want to go something that's natural and that I feel like is okay with the purport like my shoulders are quite broad and then my waist is really little and then um, then I have a big butt so like I just want my boobs to be proportioned and everybody says like oh you have big boobs and things along those lines but nobody ever sees me naked so the people that have seen me naked like changing or like friends and my boyfriend and things along those lines so people have, that have seen me naked know that I'm not comfortable with my boobs and I feel like you should do if you can change something and it's gonna make you feel better about yourself then change it I didn't like the weight that I was at so I worked my ass off to get here and unfortunately I can't lift my boobs up myself and I can't you know make them how I want them to be so I paid for it I have you know I don't have anything else to pay for. Um, I have money saved up because I'm planning on moving. But other than that, I didn't have anything to pay for and this was important to me. And you do what you feel is important to you, you know? So, like I said, I don't have a size picked out yet. I will know on Monday, March 16th, what size I'm going to. And I'll come back and let you guys know what that is because I'll do my pre-op appointment video, which will be much shorter than this one. And then I am getting saline sorry they're they both start with an s which is hard to keep up with them i'm getting saline implants um i'm gonna do under the muscle and unfortunately i have to get an anchor incision which is around the nipple down and then under your boob because i'm getting the breast augmentation which is the implants plus the lift because and that's the biggest issue here it's like I don't like where my boobs sit on my body but anyways so i'm getting breast plant, breast implants and the lift um, you know, so I have to do the scar like that, and, you know, it is what it is. I don't scar very well, so that's the only thing that I'm nervous about. Everybody keeps asking me, am I scared about the surgery or the anesthesia or anything along those lines, and I'm just not. The only thing I'm scared about is my scarring afterwards, which is something I cannot control. So, my doctor told me not to worry about it, um, 
well his wife told me not to worry about it because she's been working there with him for years and years and they're so sweet guys oh god they're so sweet but anyways um she told me not to worry about it until about a year after and that's when you know my scars will start to look right but i don't plan on you know being in public naked or anything so it's whatever i just want them to sit right in the things that i wear i have so many clothes that i just can't wear without a bra um and they require me to not wear a bra you know like right now i have like a bandu type brawlish on but like i would like to wear you know what i have on without a bra and not have to worry about like someone walking by and being like you're wrong for that you know like because i see people and they're not wearing bras and i'm like you should put a bra on but i know how you feel so i can't really say anything but anyway <laughs> i know this video is like all over the place but this is my first food vlog so just throwing out what I've been asked um people have asked me like why I'm doing it like I said I'm doing this for myself not for anybody else um my we have to drive to Utah I mean we have to fly to Utah in order to see my boobs done um let me think what else pretty much it so under the muscle oh I'm getting under the muscle high profile I know that for a fact like I have this like this image of you know like big boobs and just they're high and perky and just you know from the side and just yeah yes 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 like that's my goal here and I'm not going in with any unrealistic expectations just considering the fact that my doctor's not perfect he's human just like me um and you know like I'm okay with them not being perfect because anything would be better than the boobs I have now, in my personal opinion. So I know he's going to make my boobs better than they are right now. So I'm not really worried about it. I'm, I've done research on him. I've looked up his before and after pictures. I'm very, very comfortable with going there. I haven't spoken to my actual doctor. I've spoken to his wife. Um, and she has made me feel completely comfortable. I've rescheduled my surgery maybe three times. Um, and they haven't been like you know rude about it or like not taking me serious like they've always written down my dates no matter what even if I'm like even if I call back and like ah, I decided I'm not gonna do it yet I decided I don't have the money yet or I decided this and snap they've always written them down just like let me know be comfortable I've watched so many boob vlogs about this I've done research unfortunately I'm not um I didn't have a choice on whether I got saline or silicone because I'm just not old enough to get silicone implants you have to be 22 in order to get um silicone so no matter I didn't have that choice but I'd have enough breast tissue that um I won't have to worry about like rippling or anything along those lines I know that's not something that I'll have to worry about and I know that I feel like my recovery is not going to be that bad considering the fact that my boobs are already you know like not small like right now I wear a 32d well last time I went bra shopping I wore a 32d which was actually like before Christmas and I've lost 20 pounds since then and those bras don't fit so I probably wear like a 34c ish right now um that sounds about realistic so yeah I'm not worried about that but I'm not worried about my recovery I have somebody who's going to help me um I'm really comfortable with him taking care of me he's like the best um like he takes care of me when I'm sick so you know the surgery I'm not worried about at all so I have good friends that are supporting me with my decision um I never been a big family person so I don't have much I don't have any family actually well I have I have some cousins and things along those lines but we don't talk on a day-to-day -day basis so um to be honest their support wouldn't matter just saying but um the people that are close to me and around in my life they're very 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 supportive and then I have you know, I have all the confidence within myself. I'm ready for the surgery. I thought about it and I'm ready to go. So I will update you guys on March 16th, um, right after my appointment. I'll probably do like a vlog on the plane and stuff like that and just mesh that into one video. But I will see you guys on Monday, March 16th. That will be my pre-op appointment and I look forward to it. Bye guys.